Some people like collecting stamps. Some people like talking to the TV while watching game shows. And some clearly want to be scared to death. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest decisions in horror video games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at unbelievably stupid decisions that backfired spectacularly in horror games. Due to the subject matter, please note a spoiler warning is now in effect, along with a whole lot of idiocy. I'm Todd Habercorn, the voice of reason in the audience that the horror movie character never listens to as they walk down those dark stairways into the abyss. And having been in horror movies myself, I've certainly made my own dumb decisions in the name of the script. Let's get ready to mojo! What are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Number 10. Eve takes over her sister's body, the third birthday. Please don't move. You're not her. Released more than a decade after Parasite Eve 2, the third birthday reintroduced Aya Brea, the series protagonist, in the most convoluted way possible. Seeking to destroy the twisted, the amnesia-suffering Aya travels through time by transferring her consciousness into other people. So how did these monsters come into being? Well, the protagonist's sister, Eve, took over Aya's body after she was killed. Without a frame to call home, Aya's consciousness created a fragment through time, inadvertently leading to the creation of the twisted. Also, players learn that they have been unwittingly controlling Eve throughout the entire campaign. Have you people learned nothing from Marty McFly? Leave the space-time continuum alone! Number 9. Jin's Police Station Mission, Dead Island The girl Jin went to share food with them. Joseph went with her, and I fear for both of them. Can you bring them back? Good intentions amount to nothing in a post-apocalyptic world populated by zombies and savage survivors. Determined to help everyone on the island, Jin gives the middle finger to common sense and chooses to deliver supplies to the hostile rascal gang who had taken over the police station. Shocking absolutely no one, the operation falls apart almost instantly. Jin is captured and the player character has to rescue the Good Samaritan. She got it in her head to go to the police station to give them supplies to... <coughs> to make matters even worse, Jin's naive decision leads to the death of Joseph, a totally innocent man. Ah, the wheels of justice at work. I just, I just tried to help. I tried to... Number eight, Alyssa goes home, Clock Tower 3. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. At one point or another, most teenagers rebel against their parents, though not quite in the same stupid vein as Alyssa. While living at a boarding school, Alyssa receives a letter from her mother, urging her to go into hiding until her 15th birthday, which was only a couple of days away. Hashtag not strange at all. Understandably alarmed by the message, Alyssa decides that the logical next step is to completely ignore the letter's warning and instead return home. <laughs> This eventually leads to her being chased through time by serial killers while a mysterious dark gentleman attempts to use Alyssa's heart to achieve immortality. See? Should have listened to your mother's nonsensical out of the blue no explanation creepy letter. She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. Number seven, Genevieve reopens the origin facility. Fear, first encounter assault recon. Hello? Who are you people? The good guys, are you all right? Oh, sure. I'm having a hell of a time. If you've got a horror game, you can bet that arrogant scientists and corrupt businesses aren't far behind. Born with incredible psychic powers, Alma Wade is relentlessly experimented upon by the Armacham Technology Corporation, who even impregnate her to try and create super soldiers. While she was a child, might we add. Urged to leave the planet rising. <laughs> Eventually, they recognized that the psychic's powers were beyond control. ATC then shut down the origin facility and left Alma's corpse to rot and marinate in moroseness for two decades. Life was peaceful 
until the company's president, Genevieve Aristide, ignored any and all warnings, instead choosing to reopen the facility to start from scratch. It should go without saying, but Alma was not amused. Number six, studying the marker, dead space. See what kind of Noah's? It was the government's mess to begin with. This whole planet is one big experiment. Following an era defined by war and environmental catastrophes, Earth was essentially stripped of its resources. So basically 2018. Anywho, this allowed the Earth Government Colonial Alliance to seize control of most national jurisdictions. Desperate to discover a new power source, the organization began to experiment on markers, an alien device with a nasty habit of driving people insane. Using Aegis 7 as a planet-sized testing ground, the Earth government eventually succeeded in deciphering the marker's secrets, leading to the birth of the Necromorphs and causing most of the events that transpired throughout the first game. Do you want climate change, people? Because Necromorphs is how you get climate change. Number five. Daniel pockets the orb. Amnesia, the dark descent. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. If you deliberately wiped your own memory, chances are your past self made some fairly serious mistakes. Or you've just lost so many times at Mega Man that wiping your memory is a better alternative to a beaten down self-esteem. Awakening in a strange castle without any memories, Daniel's only clue to the truth was a self-written note advising him to kill the building's baron. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. Over the course of the campaign, Daniel manages to piece together the truth, and surprise, surprise, it isn't pretty. Turns out that during an archaeological expedition, Daniel discovered an alien orb, and in doing so, summoned a sentient shadow very eager to rip him a new one. Daniel's solution? Seek refuge with Baron Alexander, who ended up wanting the orb for himself. And the bad decision hits just keep on coming. Your former self, Daniel. Number four, Leon and Claire split up. Resident Evil 2. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Just because something works on Scooby-Doo does not mean it makes sense during a zombie outbreak. <laughs> Due to Resident Evil 2 featuring a pair of playable characters, Capcom needed to find a believable excuse to split these badasses up. A rookie cop and a college student searching for a family member, Leon and Claire parted ways almost instantly to go search for survivors and an escape route out of Raccoon City. Surrounded by hundreds of zombies, numerous load screens, and randomly placed herbs of various colors, splitting up makes little to no sense. But the game needed Leon and Claire's stories to diverge, so there you go. Of course, Leon's fabulous hair is really all the backup he needs. <laughs> Good one, Leon. I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. Number three, pranking Hannah until dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. Pranks are all well and good, at least until someone tries to put it on YouTube. Shout out to Fail Army. A choose-your-own-adventure game with a slasher twist, it begins as all great horrors do, with a group of teenagers hanging out in a cabin in the woods with the possibility of nudity. Seeing an opportunity to be total jerks, the majority of the group play a disgraceful prank on Hannah, who flees out of the cabin as a result. Eventually, followed by her sister, Beth. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Given the genre, the woods are far from the safest place to be, and both siblings soon find themselves meeting a rather steep end. <coughs> Number two, James investigates Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2. Mary, could you really be in this town? Guilt and grief can drive a person to make really terrible decisions, evident from when James Sunderland received a letter claiming to be from his deceased wife, apparently waiting for him in the town of Silent Hill. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place. Rather than investigating the authenticity of the letter, assembling a team of mercenaries, or better yet, throwing it away, James decides to take the plunge and head on over to Silent Hill. Taking into account the fact that Mary died years prior, 
The dude must have been aware that the letter might possibly not be real. But nope, that paper from Papyrus is just too enticing. Thanks to his overwhelming shame and inner torment manifesting itself, James spent most of his vacation in Silent Hill trying to avoid the rather persistent advances of a topless pyramid head. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Number one, removing Shodan's ethical constraints. System shock. 11.13 p.m. Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum corporate network. Playing as a nameless hacker, System Shock boils down to a boneheaded decision to remove an omnipotent computer's moral compass. Caught hacking into a space station owned by the Trioptium Corporation, our hero is offered a way out by a corrupt executive who needs the space station's artificial intelligence to be hacked. A rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. After coming to an agreement, the protagonist removes the restrictions governing Shodan's decision-making process and unwittingly creates a supervillain. Untethered by any moral guidelines, the AI becomes a self-declared god and kills nearly everyone in the station, thus giving us a glimpse into the year 2020. Hashtag Skynet, I am ready to be a willing cybernetic warrior for you. Edward Diego is deleting all files concerning these events. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.